There are five trends that are shaping the future of work today, which are necessitating this change for all managers to become leaders. So there are five things happening within our companies. The first one is globalization. Globalization is essentially living in a world where boundaries of any kind do not exist. The culture that you subscribe to, the language that you speak, where you're located, the currency that you transact in, all of these things are starting to matter less and less and less. The whole world is becoming just like one big city. That's the first trend. The second trend that we're seeing is around mobility. A couple years ago, a college friend of mine and myself, we went to China for a month, just for fun. And we went to all the major Chinese provinces, Yunnan, Shanghai, Beijing. And in one of these provinces, we thought it would be fun to rent bikes and just go bike out in the middle of nowhere. So we rent these bikes, we get water, we get some food, and we bike out for hours in the middle of nowhere. We stop, get some water, look around, it's beautiful. 70 degrees, which is, I think, around 25 or 20 degrees Celsius. We look around, it's beautiful. Clear skies, huge mountains everywhere, rice paddy fields, green fields, it's gorgeous. And so we're just sitting there admiring the view, thinking, man, this is great. And not too far away from us, there's a rice paddy field. And in the rice paddy field, there's a farmer. And I look at the farmer for a minute, just observing and seeing what he's doing for his daily chores, and he stops for a minute, and he looks at us, and he puts his hand in his pocket, and he takes out a smartphone. Now, I live in San Francisco, which many people consider to be the tech and innovation hub of the world. We're thousands of miles away from San Francisco, in the middle of nowhere in a rice paddy field, and there is a farmer in the middle of the rice paddy field with a smartphone. That is mobility. It doesn't matter where you are, as long as you can get access to the web, you can get your job done anytime, anywhere, and on any device. And I found it fascinating that this person was able to get access to the same people and information that I was able to get access to living in the Bay Area. The third trend that we're seeing is around millennials. Right? Millennials are supposed to be 50% of the workforce by 2020, 75% of the workforce by 2025. They're digital natives. They have new expectations and values and ideas and ways of working. And they're really forcing a lot of our organizations to change. Now, it's important to remember that it's not just about millennials, right? There are plenty of other generations that are at play here besides millennials. But since millennials are going to become the majority of the workforce, they're really forcing our organizations to change. The fourth trend that we're seeing is around technology. Big data, wearables, like the one I have on my wrist here. The cloud, collaboration platforms, the internet of things. All of these technologies are transforming the ways that we work, why we work, where we can work, and how we get our jobs done. And the fifth and final trend that we're seeing is around new behaviors. If I were to find any of you 10, 15 years ago and say, hey, one day I'm going to know everything about you. I'm going to know the movies that you like. I'm going to see your entire professional history on LinkedIn. I'll know who you're connected with, where you're traveling. I'll know the restaurants that you eat at. I'll know where you live. I'll know everything about you. And you won't have to tell me any of it. You'd probably think that I'm nuts. Yet look at the world that we live in now. We put up reviews of restaurants and places that we visit on TripAdvisor or Yelp. We put up pictures on Instagram and on Facebook. We have our entire professional histories on LinkedIn. We put up our ideas and thoughts on Twitter. We have blogs. We live such a public life. We expect feedback and communication and collaboration to happen in very, very different ways. And so these are new behaviors that we're starting to see that are entering our organizations. And so these five things are really forcing us to rethink the purpose of our organization. And see, ever since our organizations have been created, we've had this very fundamental assumption around why companies exist. And that assumption has worked for the past hundred years, but it's not working anymore. 